Welcome to Qt Learning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the solvidation. Description of damage. Corrosion of carbon steel and other alloys. Resulting from their reaction with sulfur compounds in high temperature environments. Corrosion in the presence of hydrogen, high temperature, diatomic hydrogen gas, hydrogen sulfide, corrosion. In this discussion, sulfidation will refer to high temperature sulfidic environments. Without hydrogen, this mechanism is also known as sulfidic corrosion because of the smooth large relatively uniformly corroded surface produced by sulfidation it can lead to rupture type failure rather than a localized or pinhole leak as illustrated in figure sulfidation failure of piping elbow Affected materials All iron-based materials including Carbon steel and low alloy steels 400 series stainless steel and 300 series stainless steel In that order from most susceptible to less susceptible Nickel-based alloys are also affected to varying degrees depending on composition especially chromium content above 1193 degrees Fahrenheit form of sulfidation and metal loss associated with the formation of nickel sulfides beneath the metal surface referred to as hot corrosion copper based alloys form sulfide corrosion product at lower temperatures than carbon steel Critical factors Major factors affecting sulfidation are chemical composition of the metal, temperature, and concentration of corrosive, reactive, sulfur compounds. In general, the resistance of iron-based and nickel-based alloys is determined by the chromium content of the material increasing the chromium content significantly increases resistance to sulfidation 300 series ss such as types 304 316 321 and 347 are highly resistant in most refining high temperature sulfidation process environments nickel based alloys are similar to stainless steels in that similar levels of chromium provide similar resistance to sulfidation however nickel alloys with little or no chromium can have poor resistance to these environments Figures show the typical effects of increasing chromium content, temperature, and sulfur content on metal loss. These curves only indicate the general trends in the effects of chemical composition, temperature, and sulfur content on corrosion rates. They are used in design for estimating the corrosion rate for a particular service but should be regarded as only showing trends as actual observed rates can often vary substantially in many cases the predictions are conservative 
for example they overstate the actual corrosion rates found in service. Sulfidation, diatomic hydrogen gas free, of iron based alloys begins at metal temperatures above 450 degrees Fahrenheit but normally only becomes a practical concern above 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Crude oils and other hydrocarbon streams contain sulfur compounds at various concentrations. Total sulfur content is made up of many different sulfur or sulfide species. Sulfidation is primarily caused by hydrogen sulfide and other reactive sulfide species formed by the thermal decomposition of sulfur compounds at high temperatures. Affected units or equipment. Sulfidation occurs in piping and equipment. In high temperature environments. Where sulfur containing liquid, vapor, or mixed streams are processed. Crude, vacuum, FCC, coker, and vis breaker units as well as the feed sections of hydro-processing units upstream of hydrogen injection. Coker heaters fabricated from higher nickel alloys, such as alloy 800H operating with tube metal temperatures, exceeding 1193 degrees Fahrenheit 645 degrees Celsius. Heaters fired with oil, gas, coke, and most other sources of fuel may be affected depending on sulfur levels in the fuel. Appearance or morphology of damage depending on service conditions. Corrosion is most often in the form of uniform thinning, but can also occur as localized corrosion or high velocity erosion corrosion damage. Figures show sulfidation failure illustrating the effect of accelerated corrosion due to low silicon content. This 8-inch NPS pipe section in FCC Bottoms piping was in service at 650 degrees to 700 degrees Fahrenheit. And Sulfidation failure of NPS 8 carbon steel pipe. Note the relatively uniform thinning that resulted in a sizable rupture. Prevention, Mitigation Resistance to sulfidation is generally achieved by Upgrading to a higher chromium steel, such as 9 chromium 1 molybdenum Piping and equipment constructed from Solid or clad, or overlaid, 300 series stainless steel should provide significant resistance to corrosion. Aluminum diffusion treatment of carbon steel and low alloy steel components is sometimes used to reduce sulfidation rates and minimize scale formation, however, it may not offer complete protection. For operation above 1193 degrees Fahrenheit, Sulfidation rates of higher nickel alloys can be reduced by selecting an alloy with a lower nickel content. Inspection and monitoring. Thinning in piping, tubing, and other equipment can be detected and measured using 
UT thickness measurement or RT. Thinning in pressure vessels and large diameter piping. Where internal inspection is possible can be detected by internal VT, typically followed up with UT. Permanently mounted thickness monitoring sensors can be used. Thinning in heater tubes can be detected using UT or by smart pigging. As illustrated in figures, examples of UT thickness monitoring sensors and smart pigging. Actual operating temperatures should be verified and compared against design. Temperatures and sulfur levels should be monitored for increases above design. Temperatures can be monitored using tube skin thermocouples and or infrared thermography. Proactive and retroactive MVPs materials verification programs as per api 578 can be used for alloy verification and to check for alloy mix-ups in services where sulfidation is anticipated as illustrated in figures examples of Tube skin thermocouples, infrared thermography, positive material verification. Related mechanisms. Sulfidation is also known as sulfitic corrosion. High temperature sulfidation in the presence of hydrogen is covered in high temperature diatomic hydrogen gas hydrogen sulfide corrosion summary description corrosion of carbon steel and other alloys resulting from their reaction with sulfur compounds in high temperature environments, corrosion is most often in the form of uniform thinning, but can also occur as localized corrosion or high velocity erosion corrosion damage. Temperature range Iron based alloys begins at metal temperatures above 450 degrees Fahrenheit but a practical concern above 500 degrees Fahrenheit 260 degrees Celsius. Higher nickel alloys at metal temperatures exceeding 1193 degrees Fahrenheit. Affected metallurgy. Carbon steel, 300, 400 stainless steel. Nickel alloy and copper alloys. Prevention Upgrading to a higher chromium alloy, above 9 chromium Inspection methods UT thickness measurement or RT Internal VT, typically followed up with UT Smart picking Tube skin thermocouples and or infrared thermography Proactive and retroactive PMI programs. Practice time. Question number one. Sulfidation of iron-based alloys usually begins at metal temperatures above. Answer is A. Question number two. Which metal is more resistant to sulfidation?
Answer is C. Question number three. Resistance to sulfidation is generally achieved by Answer is A. Question number four. What inspection methods can be used to detect sulfidation? Answer is D. Question number five. The form of corrosion most often caused by sulfidation is typically described as Answer is A Question number 6 Proactive and retroactive positive material identification, useful PMI for materials exposed to Answer is C This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture